partnerships are important to us at Exodus because no one group can do everything. We are particularly good at providing meals and providing a haven where people can come and feel part of a family. But then when you've got all those people there having a good feed, you find they've got a whole lot of other issues that need to be tackled. This is a group that may live in boarding houses, they may be rough sleepers, and this is a population that is very difficult to access. So Exodus Foundation is a hot spot of people with unmet health needs. And so we're bringing services in to meet those health needs. The services provided here were developed in consultation with the Exodus Foundation. They identified mental health and drug health was their primary needs. So we developed mental health and drug health clinics here. They also identified that oral health was an important area of need. I'm seeing real practical examples of helping people now. We've got doctors here more often. We've got more help with dentists. People are actually getting their teeth fixed. The major outcome from this is we've, we've been able to establish a more streamlined pathway and the staff here just know that they can actually contact us directly and for advice or you know to actually get us down to come and, and actually engage with clients. It's working out really well uh, here if we take Oral health, for an example, we have queues of people waiting to see the dentist services. And I came in, I was a bit scared. I thought, oh, I don't know what it's that like. But they gave me confidence. They were so very good, they were so very caring. I mean, the denture itself, I mean, he, he did a perfect job. Everybody benefits from this, this partnership program really. Most importantly the guests here at, at Exodus because they've been exposed to a wide range of different um, service providers here. Exodus benefit because it's, we've been able to en enhance our pathways with them. Mental health benefits because we can access people who we traditionally would have lost post discharge from inpatient units and our partners, with, you know, partners in recovery and NGOs, um, it's been able to help us establish better linkages with them. It's an ongoing journey for us to access those partnerships with a variety of services in order to help our consumers as, as best we can. I often find that when we partnership in assisting somebody in need, the partnership is the beneficiary. A person in need gets the help, but the partnership gets the goodies which enables them to do even better with other groups and other people. We're going to develop a study of the population who attend Exodus Foundation. In partnership with the Reverend Bill Cruz, we're going to ask the guests about their health needs, about whether they see a GP, whether they have a Medicare card, where they're living, and we're going to pull all that information together. We're going to work out a plan that's going to better meet these people's health needs. I always worry about the poor buggers who come here. Um, they need all the help they can get and more. I see this as just being the start of a way of rehabilitating people and moving those people who are the most disabled and the most needy into being productive members of society.